On this track, we use the Vader Manhattan 7A. The interesting thing about the Manhattan 7A is that it's longer than a normal 7A and it comes with a small rounded tip and that gives you really great cymbal definition. The cymbals used were the PST7s from Peisty. These come in a session set with 14 inch hats, 16 inch crash, and a 20 inch ride. The cool thing about the PST7s is that they're made with the same bronze that the 2002 series from Peisty is made with at a very affordable price. These are the perfect complement for the brand new Energy Street kit. It comes in a ruby sparkle finish. The dimensions on the drums are an 18 inch kick, a 12 inch tom, 14 inch floor tom, and a 14 inch snare. The unique thing about this energy kit is that it comes with all hardware needed to get started right away, including hi-hat stand, kick pedal, and cymbal arm. The great thing about the Gretsch energy kit is the uniqueness of the sizes. The 18-12-14-14 configuration allows drummers to get to a diversity of venue sizes as well as musical situations. For the main guitar, we used the Line 6 Variax JTV69S electric guitar. It's a James Tyler designed electric that includes 29 vintage instruments as well as a knob to access 11 alternate tunings. We used it to showcase the versatility in a recording session. Most of the song had a Strat sound on the rhythm, then a Les Paul sound on the solos. During the choruses, we used the Lug Pro Electric. This is essentially a mini guitar. With only the highest three strings, chord shapes can be voiced using only one finger. It's perfect for the beginner or traveling musician. We used it on the chorus and harmonized it with itself to add a little different tone. At the beginning and during the verses, we used the Sonus Wahoo. This pedal includes 100 user presets as well as fully adjustable analog effects. Uh, we used this at the beginning as well as the wah sound on the verses. The setting we used allowed me to activate the wah with the velocity that I hit the strings. On the main guitar sound, we used the Walrus Warhorn mid-range overdrive. This pedal is a mid-range, transparent overdrive that's great for an overall coloring of the guitar tone. It's a take on a classic tube screamer. I had it on the entire time and just tweaked the controls to give me more gain on the solo. Every pick 